Hello, and welcome to the Jewish Museum's 2020 Hanukkah celebrations. My name is Frances Jeans, and I'm the Interim Director here at the Jewish Museum London. This year has been an extraordinary time for us all, and one of the ways we have persevered is by coming together and working together. With this in mind, the museum has invited eight community guests to partner up with us to create eight digital nights of Hanukkah, which aim to connect the community to our collection here at the museum, which cares for the collective heritage and history of the community. We have chosen eight Hanukkah lamps from our collection and matched them up with eight partner organizations based on themes found within each unique artifact. Every night of Hanukkah, a different partner will share their Hanukkah message with you by illuminating us on how the lamp from our collections resonates with their community organization, their experiences of this year, and their hopes for the next. Tonight is the third night of Hanukkah, and it is my pleasure to introduce tonight's Hanukkah lighting message from Dr. Beverly Jacobson, Chief Executive of Norwood, who have been matched with our brass Hanukkah lamp with a priestly hand gesture. Hello, my name is Dr. Bev Jacobson, and I'm the Chief Executive of Norwood. For those who don't know what Norwood does, we provide a broad range of services for children and families in crisis, special education and therapy support to children in schools, and lifelong support to people with learning disabilities and autism. We like to sum up our offering through our new strapline, taking on life together. Through the simplicity of the slogan, we hope to convey that we are there for anyone in the community who needs our support. This 18th century menorah from Italy provides a similarly simple message. The wording on the lamp is the blessing of the Kwanim, with which a father blesses his children on Shabbat. An individual might receive it at a poignant moment, such as a bar mitzvah, or is recited in a beautiful ritual at the end of Musaf on the High Holy Days in Rosh Chodesh. It is a blessing that reminds us that we are all created in Hashem's image, but that we are each unique. In other words, regardless of the challenges we might face in life, Hashem will bless us and protect us, deal kindly and graciously with us, and bestow his favor upon us. This is the very essence of the ethos of inclusivity that is at the heart of Norwood's work. When making this blessing, the Kohanim lift their hands in the way that is depicted in the menorah. This gesture is a reminder that sometimes words are not enough and always should be accompanied by action too. It's that premise which makes Norwood so special, as behind the words, taking on life together, are thousands of actions made every day and every year by dedicated staff, invaluable volunteers, generous donors and the incredible people we support. Usually when we pray, we turn our, our palms sort of upwards towards Hashem to ask for something for ourselves. When the Kwanim pray though, they extend their arms and palms upwards and outwards, channeling Hashem's blessing to the entire congregation. Like this prayer, we at Norwood are dedicated to extending our palms outward to ensure that the vulnerable groups for whom we care are included at every level. Through our work, we are building a community that truly works for everyone. Chag Sameach and have a wonderful Hanukkah filled with light. <laughs> 